Big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making this channel happen. If you also want access to my online swing dance school, consider supporting us on Patreon. Jamin here, welcome to Street Smart Swing. If you wanna get access to over 25 of my swing dance courses, check out the link in the description below. A lot of people ask me, where do I find out about your swing dancing? Look, I've been doing this for like 10 years online, so check out that link in the description below if you wanna get some good stuff. Today, I'm gonna to be taking a look at a performance, I believe, from Remy and Alice. So these two dancers have been in the game for a long time now. I think Alice have, has been dancing much longer than Remy in terms of Lindy Hop, but when they get together, they make some incredibly impactful choreography. A lot of people love it, a lot of some people hate it. I'm kind of in between. There are some aspects of it that I really like, and then there's other aspects of it that I just don't like. I think it's a bit too rushed, too forced, and it gives a vibe of like hip hop mixed with Lindy Hop. It is what it is, but whenever they do perform, I pay attention. And so I can't wait to see this one and give you guys my opinion right after this. You know, it's really hard to stay positive as a critic. You're always looking for something that you don't like, but you never know, this could be my new favorite. Anything's possible. <laughs> All right, Remy Elise, live band, here we go. Gotta get some water, man. Gotta get some water. Okay, this looks more like a social dance demo. Since they've worked together, I think there will be a little bit of choreography. We all have those little cues. <laughs> she did a little pet on the head there. Okay, yeah, so some solo. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> you know, I love to see dancers smiling at each other. There, it just tells me that they love the essence of social dancing more than the praise of the crowd. They just, I love that. All right, all right. Wow, I'm surprised. I'm, yeah, that was good guys. 
Now, I, I got to say, that was surprising. Surprisingly good. Now, I'm not going to say it's as surprising as like Will Smith slapping Chris Rock on national TV. No, not that surprising. But what I'll say is I'm surprised at many of the things that I thought I would see, I didn't actually see. I thought, based on what I normally see with these dancers, is that as the music kind of built up and started to modulate, that they would kind of get excited. And I think maybe Remy would have got more excited uh, than his partner. And you kind of see that they're kind of competing and, and maybe you lose a little bit of the polish. I didn't see that this time. I actually saw polish with personality. I know for the dancers who have a, a big personality and they love to be super flamboyant, it's super hard to remain polished and still be yourself. Um, you can almost kind of see that they're about to boil over. It's like, I just want to be able to express what I'm feeling on the inside. And a lot of times when you're doing Lindy Hop, that doesn't really serve you well because you're you're connected with another person. And you both overall, working together, create a tone. And someone at some point is going to have to have some restraint. And it generally is the person who's a bit louder. And so I got to say, I was really surprised by that. And I will say... I, I'm starting to see a lot more of where people get their influences from. And I'm not bashing that. I'm not going to say that that's a wrong thing. I think people do need to pay homage to the people they learn from uh, because we're part of this story. And if you rip one element out of the story, then you're you're ripping out something that's really a part of the whole picture. It makes it unidentifiable and it's a legacy. And so I don't knock people for imitating the people who inspire them or influence them. I'm just saying that. But I do not like when I see people do that to an extent to where all you see is them impersonating someone else. And they're they're not doing that in this case. I can clearly see where Remy has gotten his influence from, but I can't say, uh-huh, you're just doing the same thing. Yeah, you might do some of the same moves. Yeah, you might have some of the same posture, but I still see a distinction. I, that's the balance of personality in, and a legacy of craftsmanship, which is really other people's personality that has become really canon <laughs> to what we do. And, and I don't think we can just abdicate all that stuff because we, we're just hungry to make something new all the time. I think we have to delicately balance that so that we remember not we're not the boss of this. We're part of it um, and we can contribute our part in a, in a very respectful way. So, man, this was good. Let me give you guys the, the highlight of what I like the most. The, my favorite section was this right here. I liked the little section where we saw the, the burst of energy. Like you can see Remy doing his footwork here. And he's, I like the moments when he's quiet. You can see, obviously, more of what the impact is with energy because of him moving and then coming to a complete stop. I think a lot of people mix that up and they end up moving instead of stopping in the right spot. And you really can't appreciate them or their partner as one, as a whole. Um, and yeah, I think that was the highlight for me is those little syncopations when he would do something with his body and stop, keep that particular shape and angle and allow the audience's view to shift over to his partner, Alice. And then she's, you know, switching and swiveling. I love that kind of stuff. That That's really, really hard. I think that's, for me, that's the best part about this. I will say watching Alice in this is conflicting for me. Because I feel her value is in how her technique feels when you're dancing with her, as opposed to when you're just watching her dance. And I say that out of, out of respect. Certain people have a body type that tend to be a bit more flamboyant. And because she's smaller, you don't really see a whole lot of the same types of lines that you would typically see with a taller dancer. And I feel a lot of times that she's kind of overlooked for all of her abilities and her syncopations and her ability to connect with other people fluidly from uh, moving and stopping uh, to stopping and going. And it's all seamless. I think that is a better 
indication of how someone feels when you're moving with them. But that doesn't always yield to an aesthetically pleasing look at from the perspective of the audience when you're watching someone social dance. So for me, I, I won't say that her her performance or her social dance was underwhelming per se, but I will say it's kind of clouded uh, based on body type. Now, I will say she's one of my top 10 followers to dance with of all time just because of her technical prowess and ability to adapt seamlessly to different styles. And so watching is less as enjoyable as I would say dancing with her. So it was interesting watching this. I, I, I still feel like Remy kind of overshadowed her a little bit. Uh, it could be the height difference, but that's just how I feel about it. The criticism I normally have, I didn't see because they didn't do a lot of choreography here. You know, the choreography they did do was solo jazz. And that's cool. That's cool. I didn't see them like bending too much with their shoulders and kind of making me feel like I'm watching a house competition. <laughs> you know, I didn't see any of that. I really did see the balance of really good syncopated footwork with a, a posture that would mirror what we would all deem clearly authentic jazz. The, the ideal is to have that balance. And, and I think they did that. Man, I just feel like <laughs> this is great. I, I'm excited that I actually liked this and, and it isn't too uh, formulaic in a way that would make me like go on a tangent and complain too much. Uh, well, go on a tangent and complain too much is really what I'm wanting to say. So. Guys, what did you think about this one? Let me know in the comment section below. Did you like this improv session? Did you like the choreographed part better? Did you feel like that was more of what you liked? Or did you like the social part that they were doing? Um, I liked their energy. I loved seeing that they had this joy and expression on their face like, yes, we can finally get together again and connect and have some fun. That is the vibe that I love with Lindy Hop more than teaching, more than traveling. I just love social dancing and I could, I could see that these dancers enjoy it too. So let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section below. If I don't see your comments below, uh, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you at my class online. Have a great one. Take care.